1938, New York City, the beginning of the golden age of comic books, an era which introduced us to the superhero archetype, and an era dominated by the following genres. Sci-fi, crime, romance, horror, and western. Imagine playing an economic board game in which you publish and compete against other comic book publishers in New York City during that golden age of comic books. That game is Age of Comics, The Golden Years by Lirius Games. This is not a paid promotion. I bought this game as an educator. Microeconomic concepts within the game include theory of the firm. Comic book publishers operate within the market structure of duopoly if it's a two-player game. However, if it's a three to four player game, the market structure is oligopoly. In addition, game theory is present through the strategic behavior of the competing firms. Player actions include hiring writers and artists, developing story ideas, developing original comics, printing both original and rip-off comics, collecting royalties, and sales revenue. Thus, production concepts within the game include the role of the entrepreneur to organize factors of production through the employment and cost of labor and capital resources, product differentiation, non-price competition, competing substitutes, job training as a positive production externality, and sales and marketing. Consumption concepts within the game include non-price determinants of demand, changes in tastes and preferences, sales and marketing and building hype for an upcoming comic book, and how competing substitutes impact demand and how household expenditure or spending is equal to the revenue earned by the firm. The game includes the following base game components. Click the link below to watch my unboxing of the game. And you can click on the link below to watch my video explaining how to set up the game in 12 steps. Now a game run through of two rounds for two players, a duopoly market structure. Duopoly, a type of oligopoly where two competing firms, for example Marvel versus DC, dominate the industry and make strategically interdependent decisions regarding price or output. Each round is divided into three phases. Phase one, preparation. Step one, flip the calendar tile marking the round and flip all the sales order tiles on the map with the corresponding genre icon. Step two, refill the idea tokens on the board, putting one token for every genre in the corresponding spaces. Step three, add a hype token to any original comic book card you put on the table. And step four, pay money to increase creator's value if desired. Phase two, actions. Players perform actions one at a time in turn order shown on the board. Phase three, end of round. Step one, establish ranking on the chart and award victory points. Step two, earn money as shown in the chart. Step three, establish turn order for the next round as reverse of the ranking. Step four, remove one fan from each comic book on the chart. Step five, remove editors from the board. And step six, discard the cards and refill the table. The game board is divided into four areas. Area one includes turn order, calendar tiles, which mark changing tastes and preferences over time for particular genres of comic books, and in phase one of the round, the ability of a publisher to pay money to increase creative's values as a positive production externality. Area two is where publishers take actions in turn order, thus this is the production side of the industry. Actions include hiring writers and artists, developing original comic books, developing ideas, printing original comics and rip-off comics, collecting royalties, or sending your sales agent around Manhattan to take sales orders. Area three is where sales agents travel around Manhattan to take sales orders from retailers. So this is the market area of the game where producers and consumers interact. And last we have area four, which is the consumption side of the market, which tracks the popularity and demand for printed comic books, enabling producers to generate revenue. Here we have the game set up for two competing firms. Firm A Salmon has a value to writer and artist card randomly chosen, two idea tokens of their choice, one comic book in the genre of their choice, $5 and four editor meeples. Firm B Teal has a value to writer and artist card randomly chosen, three idea tokens of their choice, one comic book of the genre of their choice, $5 and four editor meeples. Next, three cards will be drawn and faced up from the writer, artist, and original comic book decks, as seen here. Round structure, phase one of round one preparation. Step one, flip the calendar tile marking the round and flip all the sales order tiles on the map with the corresponding genre icon. Steps two, three, and four are not relevant to round one. So here we can see that we will flip the sci-fi tile on the map 
which shows an area or areas in Manhattan where this genre is particularly popular. Phase two of round one, publishers will take actions, thus you as an entrepreneur, publisher, will employ and organize labor and capital resources by hiring writers and artists, developing original comic books, developing ideas for comics, printing original or rip-off comic books, collecting royalties, or taking sales orders from newsstands in Manhattan. Firm A Salmon has a value to sci-fi writer and value to romance artist, and will print a sci-fi comic by placing their editor meeple on the action, paying two idea tokens and four dollars, as the value of the comic is equivalent to the experience level value of the artist and writer. They will collect the bonus of four dollars, place their newly printed mini comic book on the fan track with three fans, due to having a specialized sci-fi writer one fan for publishing a sci-fi comic, and one fan for gaining a mastery token for being the first to print a sci-fi comic. Firm B Teal has a value to horror writer and a value to superhero artist, and will develop an original comic book by placing their editor meeple on the action. Firm B has selected and taken a superhero comic book from the row of the corresponding comic deck and will place it in their hand. Firm A Salmon follows Firm B and also develops, thus from the row they select an original romance comic and place it in their hand. Firm B Teal will hire, thus they place their editor on the action and will choose a writer and artist to employ from the labor market. However, they decide to draw a face down writer and artist from the deck and they gain a value to romance writer and a value to sci-fi artist and place them in their hand. Firm A Salmon follows Firm B and also hires, thus they place their editor on the action and employ a value 3 romance writer and a value 2 crime artist from the labor market and add them to their hand. Firm B Teal will print they will pay two idea tokens and four dollars as this is the value of the comic book with a value to writer and value to artist. They will collect the bonus super transport ticket, place their newly printed mini comic on the fan track with three fans due to having a specialized horror writer, one fan for publishing a horror comic, and one fan for gaining a mastery token for being the first to pr print a horror comic. Firm A Salmon will take sales orders by placing their editor on the action and they will move their sales agent on the map by walking from the center to an adjacent location where they will collect up to three sales order tiles. One, two, and three. They will then add the sales order tiles to their hand. And since they printed a sci-fi comic that has a value four, they satisfy the sales order of producing at least a value three comic. They will turn over their sales order tile after satisfying the sales condition and gain one fan on the fan track. Firm B Teal will follow Firm A and take sales orders by placing their editor on the action. They will then move their sales agent from the center of the map to an adjacent location by walking and collect up to two sales order tiles, one and two, and add them to their hand. Since they printed a horror comic that has a value 4, they satisfy the sales order of producing at least a value 3 comic and gain one fan on the fan track. They will turn over their sales order tile after satisfying the sales condition. End of round 1, which is phase 3 of the round, step 1. Establish ranking on the chart and award victory points. Step two, earn money as shown in the chart. Salmon has gained a three-star victory point for first place and $3 in revenue. Teal has also gained a three-star victory point for tying for first place and also earned $3 in revenue. Here we can see the cards, unfulfilled sales order tiles, and money earned by firm A Salmon at the end of the round. Here we can see the cards, idea tokens, and super transport ticket unfulfilled sales order tiles and money earned by firm B Teal at the end of the round. 
Step three, establish turn order, which is the reverse of the turn order from round one. Step four, remove one fan from each comic book on the chart, which reflects declining popularity over time. Step five, remove editors from the board. And step six, discard the cards and refill the table. Thus, this is the end of round one. Preparation of round two, which is phase one of the round, step one. Flip the calendar tile marking the round and flip all the sales order tiles on the map with the corresponding genre icon. Here we can see consumer tastes and preferences have changed and horror is growing in popularity in certain areas of Manhattan. Step two, refill the idea tokens on the board, putting one token for every genre in the corresponding spaces. Step three, add a hype token to any original comic book card that you put on the table. However, firm A and B have not unlocked the special action to do this. Step four, pay money to increase creative values if desired. In economics, the entrepreneur can invest in labor through training or learning, which is a positive production actionality, as this improves the quality of human capital resources. If both creatives and the team are specialized, but have different values, the one with the lowest value can increase its value through learning from the creative partner. To do so, you must pay $1 for each increment and place an increased value token with the new value on the card. For example, on the right, the creative value 1 can become value 2 at the beginning of the next round if you pay $1, since the teammate is value 3. At the beginning of the following round, they can become value 3 if you pay another $1. The creative can only increase value progressively. For example, one increment per round and the maximum value they can reach is that of their teammate. If only one creative is specialized or both specialized creatives have the same value, the specialized creative can still increase their value through training. To do so, you must pay the following incremental value and place an increased value token that shows the new value. For example, on the right, the specialized creative value one can become value two at the beginning of the next round if you pay $2. Then at the beginning of the following round, it can become value three if you pay $3. If instead both creatives are specialized but have the same value, you can train both and make them reach value two by paying a total of $4. At the beginning of the following round, you can choose to train them again by paying $6 and make both reach value three. The creatives can only increase values progressively. Firm B Teal decides not to invest in their labor. However, Firm A Salmon decides to invest in their labor and pay $3 to increase the value of their sci-fi writer. As a result, the value of their printed comic book increases to five. Thus, they meet the sales order condition to gain three fans along the fan track. Phase two, actions. Firm B Teal gains ideas by placing their editor on the action. They collect two idea tokens from the board and two idea tokens of their choice. Here we can see that they now have two horror idea tokens, two superhero idea tokens, and one romance idea token. Firm A Salmon also takes ideas by placing their editor on the action. They can collect one idea token from the board and two idea tokens of their choice. Thus we can see they have two romance idea tokens and one crime idea token. Now keep in mind that taking the idea tokens can signal to your competitor which genre of comic you plan to print in the future. From B Teal will print. Thus they will pay two idea tokens and $4 for their original superhero comic. They will collect the bonus of $4. And since they satisfy the sales order tile condition, they gain one fan plus one fan for a specialized artist, one fan for their printed comic, and one fan for gaining the mastery token. In total, four fans for the fan track, which we can see here. In addition, for printing their second comic, Firm B unlocks a special action cube, which they decide to place in the develop action area. Firm A, Salmon, now will follow from B in print, thus they pay two idea tokens and $5 to print their comic. They also unlock a special action cube and satisfy the sales order tile condition and gain one fan plus one fan for a special writer plus one fan for a printed comic plus one fan for gaining the mastery token. Thus, four fans in total for the fan track. Firm A decides to place their special action cube in the higher action area. Firm B Teal will develop, so they place their editor on the action. 
and they will select an original comic book from the row. They choose a horror comic and will place it down on their playmat to gain the hype token at the beginning of the next round. Firm A Salmon will take sales orders, so they will place their editor on the action and will move their sales agent to a new location by walking and will collect up to three sales order tiles, thus they take romance, sci-fi, and crime sales order tiles from the board and then add them to their hand. Firm B Teal will hire, so they place their editor on the action and they will employ a value three crime writer and a value one horror artist from the labor market. They will add these cards to their hand. Next, Firm A Salmon will follow Firm B and also hire. Thus, they place their editor on the action and will employ a value two crime writer and a value three romance artist from the labor market and add them to their hand. Now we are at the end of round two. Step one, establish ranking on the chart and award victory points. Step two, earn money as shown in the chart. Firm A Salmon gains a three-star victory point for having a comic in first place and gains $6 in total revenue from their two printed comics. Firm B Teal gains a two-star victory point for having a comic in second place and gains $5 in total revenue for their two printed comics. Here we can see all resources gained by Firm B Teal and here we can see all resources gained by firm A Salmon at the end of the round. Step three, establish turn order for the next round as the reverse of the ranking, which we can see here. Step four, remove one fan from each comic on the chart, reflecting reduced demand over time. Step five, remove editors from the board. Step six, discard the cards and refill the table. Phase one of round three, step one, flip the calendar tile marking the round and flip all the sales order tiles on the map with the corresponding genre icon. Here we can see that romance comics are popular, thus we will flip the romance order tiles over in Manhattan. Step two, refill the idea tokens on the board, putting one token for every genre in the corresponding spaces. Step three, add a hype token to any original comic book card that you put on the table. Thus from B Teal will place a hype token on their horror comic that is in development. Four, pay money to increase creative's values if desired. Firm A Salmon already has a value three specialized writer for their sci-fi and romance comic. Thus once they hire in round three, they can use their special action and reassign or swap their unspecialized crime artist out of their printed romance comic for the value three romance artist in their hand. Firm B Teal will invest $3 to train their horror writer to increase their value and the value of their printed comic from value four to five. Game setup for round three. This is how the board looks as Firm A and Firm B prepare for the next round. I hope you've enjoyed this two round run through of this fascinating economic worker placement board game, Age of Comics. More videos on Age of Comics to come. Please stay tuned for videos on these games and more.